Hello there LEGO Star Wars fans, it is a great time to be a fan of both LEGO and Star Wars because this year we might just be looking at LEGO's biggest May 4th event in the history, all 25 years of LEGO Star Wars and I am ready for it. So today's video we've got a few minifigures that might have revealed the last of LEGO's anniversary figures, stay tuned for that at the end and I will be going over all the May 4th promos of course you might have heard them, we've got the four on lego.com, but aren't you forgetting about the ones that aren't exclusive to Lego? That's right, we've got at least three other Lego Star Wars gift with purchases that can be found around. Of course, your stores will vary. As I'm based here in the UK, I will know which UK stores are selling them, but I'm sure it won't be too hard to find. Usually in America, you're looking at Walmart, you're looking at Target, and your other popular retail stores. Not many of these are given out in the littler stores. So we'll get to that straight away and get to the figures later on because we've got to save the best till last. Once again, I do apologize if my camera is freezing throughout this video. I've tried to fix it and really there's nothing much else I can do. So hopefully it isn't a problem to date, but we'll start off by looking at these awesome May 4th gift with purchases because as you can see, I am recording this the day before the video goes out, in fact the morning of, so we've got a day and a half until the May celebration starts. That means by the time you've probably woken up May 1st, these will all be live and if you are looking to buy any of them, be my guest. But personally, I'm not quite sure these are all worth the money. First up we have the Platoon Attack Carrier, which is called here Trade Federation Troop Carrier. It's based off a model that not many toys have created. So it's quite nice to see Lego not only make this a few different times, but also revisit it for the anniversary. We also have the AAT. Again, I have reviewed that. Check out my January poly bag completion for all of them January poly bags. I'm still trying to get all the other poly bags, but I'm really struggling picking up the F1 car. So hopefully I can grab that and review that soon, though. It's not looking likely for May. We then also have the Battle of Yavin Coin Collectible, which if you're a fan of coins, if you're a fan of Legos, this is a great piece to get £80, which means if you do spend the required the £145, all other prices on the screen for your Trade Federation Troop Carrier, you are also getting the AAT and the coin, which does work out quite nice. And as well, you can spend 1,800 points, or in the UK, that's £2.25, on the official resolution of this art print. Now, we will be coming back to this because this might have revealed a fifth minifigure. Of course, we're only expecting four more anniversary minifigures. We do have one technically unofficial one in this year's Star Wars Dictionary, and I'm sure they'll probably whack one in a celebration set later this year. We always normally get some sort of celebration exclusive for LEGO and falling on a milestone such as its 25th anniversary, it's a no-brainer. If LEGO don't capitalise on that moment, I would be very, very shocked. Hopefully, it's not too an exclusive figure and we can part it out or something later down the line. But I'll be very intrigued to see which minifigure they choose for that set, if it comes with any minifigures. Of course, we've seen Brickheads in the past. And if you do want to check out what else is happening for May the 4th on LEGO.com, definitely check out the website. They did say there is going to be more, though I think it will be more catered to giveaways on the rewards tab. So definitely head over to Lego. The rewards tab is just up here on the right and check out what's happening after May 1st because I'll be very intrigued what else they are doing for 25 years. As I said, Lego is not the only one with Star Wars gift with purchases. As you can see on your screen, Argos do have a collectible key ring. They are selling it separately for five pounds if you don't want to pick up a set. So if you are making a purchase over 40 pound, I say 40 pound, because currently there's 20% off their Tantive bill. They've also got a load of other good sales like the Venita, though I will say I haven't seen as many good sales as I did last year Black Friday. So if there's nothing that you really want to pick up, I definitely recommend waiting for sales later on this year. Though that being said, if you are wanting to get this key ring and you don't want to spend the £5 on it, you can definitely pick up a set like the Tantive, which for £40, is well well worth the money that's not the only other purchase because again you have seen already in a previous video smiths are giving away a free poly bag which i am looking to pick up i know they can be a bit dodgy with who they give it away it does state six plus but they tend to only give it away to children and staff members so hopefully i'm able to pick up a poly bag but jp spill warren in europe is also giving away a very cool r2d2 notebook now as far as the internet is concerned this is an exclusive to JB because 
We haven't seen it anywhere. No other store has announced it. Perhaps this will be something you can get in the LEGO Rewards tab, similar to the art piece. But now, speaking of the art piece, let's have a look because there are a few characters on here that we might not have seen before, specifically two characters. Now, as you can see, the art piece does look really cool and I think really captures well the 25 years of LEGO Star Wars that we have had. And taking a closer look, you see fan favourites like Rex, who is quite new, even the old Grievous, which I have very fond memories of. I never owned the physical copy, but that episode three battle with him right at the end in the complete saga, I must have played that more than any other episode. I mean more than even the Mustafar duel in episode three, which again was one of my other favourite levels. But there are also some characters that you might not have seen. Now, before we get to the four that were in the Lego trailer, which I do have clips to put on screen if you haven't watched that, we have Jedi Bob here. Now, you can say, oh, it's just a recolor, and it is pretty much identical to the old Jedi Bob. But as you can see, we have a load of other older characters. Specifically, if we blow up that first image, you can see Luke here, who has still his yellow head from the older minifigure, which did indeed have the yellow head. So I am wondering if the recolor of Jedi Bob is just an artistic difference and perhaps it is still meant to be yellow or if we are indeed getting a Jedi Bob at some point in the near future because it would make sense for Lego to include the older style of printing on the face because it's such an iconic figure. Perhaps this could be one of the anniversary figures they've just updated with a lighter skin tone. But I'll be very intrigued to find out if we are getting any updates of these characters because they wouldn't necessarily give them away unless Lego knew they would have already announced the character, such as Nine Num right at the bottom down by R2's left leg. Now, this Nine Num, again, as I said, one of the four characters that we will be looking at, of course, we've got an image of Nine Num here from the trailer. In fact, I'll blow up the clip for you. He's one of four characters that we haven't yet seen in Lego that we got in this trailer, including Young Leia. Cal Kestis and also surprising enough Ezra Bridger in the outfit and the style from when he showed up in the Ahsoka show so it'd be really great to get some more Ahsoka sets hopefully we don't get Ezra as an anniversary figure I'd rather get Jedi Bob because Jedi Bob does have a bit of history in Lego Star Wars and would they include him in a set now probably not if they could include another named Jedi and also probably up the price a little bit but i'm very intrigued to see what the next anniversary figures are cal Kestis makes sense because we've already got bd1 at the back here and that did come with his droid so lego perhaps wants some more of them if they give cal an anniversary minifigure similar to malik they don't tend to make sets based off games and i really would like to get a playset with cal in but i do think he's probably more likely to be an anniversary minifigure now we also have nine num who would have been great for a set next year. Don't forget, Anniversary of Empire Strikes Back. This might just be an early design release, and they want to see how Nine Num's head goes across. They've whacked it in an art poster, they've whacked it in a trailer, and they want to see the fan reception. It wouldn't be the first time they've done something like this. And honestly, I think it's a very smart move for LEGO, because of course, Nine Num flies away with Lando at the end of Empire Strikes Back. But Nine Num, Cal Kestis, we also have Young Leia. I do not see them revisiting Kenobi anytime soon. In fact, I think Kenobi's left a mental scar on Lego. Them sets didn't sell as well as personally I was hoping. So I'm sure Lego didn't get as much as they hoped for that. And they were a bit lacklustre as to what they could have covered because Kenobi was very scenic yet there wasn't much to be built in Lego. It was a lot of fields, it was a lot of just rocky terrains for them, key moments like the Kenobi Vader duels. I think young Leia is a figure, especially with some of the outfits she wears throughout the show, we could definitely get in Lego because I've already made a young Luke, I've just added short legs to the already existing farm boy Luke, and that pretty much covers what Luke looked like in the show. So I'd really like for young Leia to be an anniversary minifigure, and that brings us on to the final one, We've had Cal, we've had Nine Num, we've had Young Leia, and the other one was Ezra Bridger, as I said. Hopefully we get some more Ahsoka sets. I would much prefer that because we still haven't got Thrawn, we still haven't got, I forget the name of the trooper with the gold face, but that would be an amazing minifigure to get. And just to get a few of them ragtag troopers that are all 
bandaged up with gold, with red from the Night Sisters over there. Even just a few of the other named figures that show up. Of course, I really do like the Ahsoka sets, and I think they smashed it last year with all the non-spoiler sets. They gave us the Ghost, they gave us Ahsoka show, and they gave us pretty much all the named figures we would want going into that show. So hopefully we do get another set or so. Of course, we've seen the recent Mando one with Keller and Beck speeder bike, which would be a great set to get. Perhaps an Imperial Star Destroyer playset. We haven't got one of them for ages. Include Thrawn, include Ezra, and just a bunch of other figures to beef up the set. Much like Moff Gideon's cruiser, they'll probably also whack in Ahsoka as it's her show, but I think that would be a very interesting set. Ahsoka the White would be perfect in that spot. Anyway, this video has gone on for a while and I feel like I've just been talking, so hopefully I have made this a bit more palatable for you. Let me know what you are looking forward to May 4th. Of course, tomorrow we'll be looking over these Star Wars heavy releases as we expect every single May. And this year, they're not at all half bad. Of course, don't forget if you do want to see me review Keller and Beck Speeder here around May 4th, you got to subscribe to the channel. We are so close to a thousand subs. It's actually getting pretty, pretty scary. But a promise is a promise. And of course, that also means that my room tour is pretty close. I can't believe I still haven't shown it off, but I think I'm very happy with how it's laid out. I don't know if you watched the V-Wing video yesterday, but I'm very happy with some of the other mocks I've got on display. So be sure to check out the V-Wing set that I made. Like the video if you did enjoy and subscribe for more awesome Lego content. May the bricks be with you always.